Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and today's May 27th, 2024. And before we jump to things here, as per usual, I want to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield discount code as well as the TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, Let's get moving. Starting our losers list off here today with Scalding Tarn from Modern Horizons 2. This fetch land is down 9.27% from $20.81 to $18.88 for its market price, and its average price is $20.79. Reckless Endeavor from Commander Adventures in the Forgotten Realms is rare is down 9.28% from $14.65 to $13.29 for its market price, and its average price is $15. Mudavelt from Commander Legends Battle for Boulder's Gate. This land is down 9.36% from $10.68 to $9.68 for its market price, and its average price is $10.51. Thought Seas from Iconic Masters. This rare is down 9.58% from $10.54 to $9.53 for its market price, and its average price is $10.70. Thousand Year Elixir from Commander Anthology. This card is down 9.64% from $12.45 to $11.25 for its market price, and its average price is $11.95. Deadly Rollock, and this is the borderless version of the card from Commander Masters, down 9.88% from $20.05 to $18.07 for its market price, and its average price is $22.50. Displacer Kitten, and this is the extended art version of the card from Commander Legends Battle for Boulder's Gate, down 9.92% from $11.79 to $10.62 for its market price, and its average price is $12.47. Windswept Heath from Khans of Tarkir, this fetch land is down 9.95% from $18.29 to $16.47 for its market price, and its average price is $19.68. Contagion Engine from the Secret Layer series, down 10.09% from $18.54 to $16.67 for its market price, and its average price is $16.69. Urza's Workshop, and this is the extended version of this card from Commander of the Brothers War. This land is down 10.09% from $12.89 to $11.59 for its market price, and its average price is $14. Portal 2 Phyrexia from the Brothers War. This artifact is down 10.14% from $27.52 to $24.73 for its market price, and its average price is $26.46. Kinnon Bonder Prodigy from Ikoria Lair of Behemoths. This legendary creature is down 10.23% from $14.57 to $13.08 for its market price, and its average price is $13.95. Tiny Bones the Pit Pocket from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. This mythic is down 10.33% from $16.55 to $14.84 for its market price, and its average price is $19. Bergy God of Storytelling, and this is the showcase version of the card from Kaldheim, down 10.36% from $13.03 to $11.68 for its market price, and its average price is $13.48. Unwinding Clock from the Brothers War, and this is the retro frame artifact version of the card, down 10.40% from $9.62 to $8.62 for its market price, and its average price is $9.44. And our final loser on our list is Cabal Coffers from Modern Horizons 2. This land is down 10.61% from $22.43 to $20.05 for its market price, and its average price is $22.35. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Vein Ripper from Murders at Karloff Manor. This mythic is up 4.63% from $22.47 to $23.51 for its market price, and its average price is $24.59. The pre-release version of the card is sitting at $30.36 for its market price, and its average price is $42.13. The promo pack copy is sitting at $24.24 for its market price, and its average price is $31.87. And the showcase copy is sitting at $20.86 for its market price, 
and its average price is $21.62, and the Showcase Invisible Ink copy is sitting at $30.36 for its market price, and its average price is $32.79, and this card is seeing most of its play in the Pioneer format, in decks like Rakdos Vampires as well as Rakdos Midrange, and even Golgari Vampires, however also see some Commander play in decks like Edgar Markov and Kirk Son of Yawgmoth. And the next winner on our list today is Scorched Bruins from Weatherlight. This reserveless land is at 4.67% from $48.35 to $50.61 for its market price, and its average price is $58.74. Now this is a card that lets you add a massive amount of colorless mana to your mana pool, and we are getting a lot of Eldrazi cards which are colorless coming out in Modern Horizons 3, so it does make sense that this card is going up in price. Now it is already seeing play right now in the commander format and the commanders that utilize this card the most are Karn Legacy Reforge as well as Kozilek the Great Distortion which is an Eldrazi commander. Next winner on our list is Field of the Dead and this is the Borderless Special Guest version of the card at 5.29% from $31.78 to $33.46 for its market price and its average price is $37.89. Next up is Shuko from Betrayers of Kamigawa. This artifact has been spiking recently and it's up 22.57% from $8.02 to $9.83 for its market price and its average price is $16. Now one of the main reasons why this card is spiking is due to a spoiler from Modern Horizons 2, Nada Winged Wisdom. And this card pairs well in a nice combo with it and it's already being specced on on a variety of other channels. But let me know what you think about this card and where you think the price is going to land. This card is already being played right now in the Legacy format in Cephalid Breakfast decks, however it does see some commander play in commanders like Valda, Keeper of the Flame, as well as Kemba Ka Region. And the next winner on our list today is Hall of Heliod's Generosity from Commander Wilds of Eldraine. This legendary land is up 18.52% from $5.94 to $7.04 for its market price, and its average price is $7.13. The Modern Horizons original copy is sitting at $7.09 for its market price, and its average price is $7.66, and the Retro Frame Foil Etch copy is sitting at $7.62 for its market price, and its average price is $8.46, and the Retro Frame Foil version is sitting at $12.65 for its average price. Now this card is seeing some commander play right now, in commanders like Zedru, the Great Hearted, as well as Ariat of the Charmed Apple. Next up here is Generous Plunderer, and this is the showcase version of the card from Outlaws of Thunder Junction, The Big Score. This mythic is up 18.61% from $14.35 to $17.02 for its market price, and its average price is $15.40. The extended art copy is sitting at $6.90 for its market price, and its average price is $7.37. And the regular copy is sitting at $6.04 for its market price, and its average price is $6.90. Now this card is also seeing most of its play in the commander format, in commanders like Vihane Gold Waker, as well as Rebecca Splitter of Seconds, both of which are from Thunder Junction. Next up here is Free Strider Lookout, and this is the extended version of this card from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. It is up 19.30% from $6.58 to $7.85 for its market price, and its average price is $8. The pre release copy is sitting at $3.11 for its market price, and its average price is $3.48. And the regular copy is sitting at $4.36 for its market price, and its average price is $4.65. Now this card does see most of its play in the standard format in Golgari midrange decks, however it also sees some modern play in Golgari coffers and even in the legacy format in lands decks. And the next winner on our list today is Lord of the Nazgul, and this is the extended art version of the card from Commander Lord of the Rings. It is up 21.75% from $5.70 to $6.94 for its market price, and its average price is $7.69. And the Showcase Scrolls copy is sitting at $4.14 for its market price, and its average price is $4.32. And the regular copy is sitting at $1.40 for its market price, and its average price is $1.84. Now this card sees most of us play in the Commander format in Commanders like Sar and the Dark Lord. And the next winner on our list is Songbird's Blessing from Commander Wilds Veldrain. This rare is up 22.62% from $4.51 to $5.53 for its market price, and its average price is $5.86. And the extended art copy is sitting at $6.80 for its market price, and its average price is $6.98. And you can find this card in the Commander Wilds Veldrain Precon, Virtue and Valor. This card is being played as well in the Commander format in new commanders like Harriet the Beguiler. And our final winner on our list today is a rare from Aether Revolt. 
Green Belt Rampager, and this card has been spiking recently due to a new card giving us more energy counters. It is up 237.50% from $0.88 cents to $2.97 for its market price, and its average price is $4. And that new energy card is Primal Prayers. This enchantment enters the battlefield and you get two energy counters. You may cast creature spells with mana three or less by paying energy rather than paying their mana cost. If you cast a spell this way, you may cast it as though it had flash. So let me know if you think these cards are going to make a splash in modern. Now the pre-release copy is sitting at $1.98 for its market price and its average price is $12.20. The mystery booster copy is sitting at $2.89 for its market price and its average price is $3.90. Now this card is seeing most of its play right now in the commander format and a Yevi Progenitor Ooze Dex. However, it might see some play in modern now. Let me know down below in the comment section if you agree. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day. And we are going to start that list off here with Power Fist, and this is the Surge Foil version of the card from Fallout, up 9.03% from $12.63 to $13.77 for its foil market price, and its average price is $15.34. Mischievous Quanar from Scourge, this foil is up 10.49% from $12.96 to $14.32 for its foil market price, and its average price is $11.97. Croson Restore from Torment, this old frame foils up 13.77% from $8.28 to $9.42 for its foil market price, and its average price is $7.82. Primal Beyond from Morning Tide, this foil land is up 15.48% from $18.86 to $21.78 for its foil market price, and its average price is $19.11. Lord of the Undead from 10th edition. This foil is up 20.34% from $25.76 to $31 for its foil market price, and its average price is $29.15. Sunken Citadel, and this is the extended art foil from Lost Cabins of Ixalan, up 21.44% from $5.69 to $6.91 for its foil market price, and its average price is $12.98. Rogrok, Son of Roga, from Commander Legends. This foil is up 24.86% from $5.35 to $6.68 for its foil market price, and its average price is $3.65. Thran Lens from Urza's Legacy. This old frame foil is up 26.94% from $12.77 to $16.21 for its foil market price, and its average price is $9.52. Nature's Claim from Iconic Masters. This foil is up 49.72% from $3.52 to $5.27 for its foil market price, and its average price is $3.47. Don Strider from Arcadian Mass. This old frame foil is up 229.81% from $16.67 to $54.98 for its foil market price, and its average price is $19.36. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering Market Movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you guys could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so that way my channel can continue to grow on YouTube. Also, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite mover of the day was, which cards are the most surprised to see on the list, and which cards you own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.
Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.